Hello everybody, I'm Tyler. I'm going to show you today how to change your app icons with a free app. You do not have to be jailbroken. It's an app out of the App Store. So, um, let me show you a few of my icons that I have changed. Um, the first one is I've actually changed the internet icon. And instead of saying Safari, it now says Internet. And, um, I don't know if you can see it real well, but it's a world icon and it has text that says Internet. Um, I changed the music icon. Um, just a few of them. Uh, I'm not going to show you all of them. But, um, last two that I'm going to show you are the app stores. Those are my two app stores. Okay, anyway, let me show you how to do this. And, um, I hope you like it. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the app store. Which, your app store is going to be just the same app store icon that you usually you used to have like your app store is not going to be the same icon as mine so anyway, go to the app store on the iPhone and type in app icons sorry I'm holding the camera so um, it's going to be the first result Press it. It's a 99 cent app, but I've installed it already. So, once you've installed it, open up, open up the app. And for some reason it keeps telling me I have no internet connection. I don't know why it's telling me that, but I don't, I do have an internet connection. I don't know why it's saying I don't, but it shouldn't affect it, because, um, since I actually do have an internet connection, it won't matter if it says that I don't. So, what you're going to do, these are the ones that I've already made. To make a new one, you're going to go down to this icon down here that says Create Icon. It says Create Icon. So you're going to press it. And choose what you want the new icon to do. Um, to change your app icons, you're going to go to apps. So you can use any of these apps. And just for an example, I'm going to do Game Center. Change the app for Game Center. So wait for it to load. And the first thing that you have to do is choose a skin. You can leave that blank and the, the background will just be white unless you choose a photo. But if you leave that blank, the white ground, white background will probably be white. Sorry, I can't speak today, apparently. So, um, choose a skin for the icon. Um, just for an example, I guess I'll choose that one. Um, next thing you're going to do is frame. So, you choose one of these as your frame. I'll use the blue one. Next, you're going to do clip art, which is that one right there. You don't have to do any of these. You just keep them on the default option, and you don't have to choose them. The next one is photo. You can add a photo from the from your photo library or take a photo if you want to. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do that right now. Next, add text. You can add whatever you want. And you can change the icon name by pressing on icon name and choosing something. Um, so when you're done making your icon, click done. And you'll see it. It'll be the last one. But there's your new icon. So um, now you've made the icon, but you got to get it on the home screen. Well, you're going to click save. And install. It's install now. It says it changes settings. That's not really true. It just adds an icon to your home screen. Um, when you back out of Safari, you'll see your newly added icon right there. Now, there's one problem with this app. Um, it does give you custom icons. It does not replace the icons. So what I do is I keep all my other icons of I put them in a secret folder, right there. 
that's my folder of icons that I don't use because I've replaced those with like there and see there's still a safari icon if you go into my folder it's the first one on there but um the new icons don't take any memory and as long as you don't show anybody that folder it doesn't matter so um yeah you can move this icon around and stuff like that it's just like a regular app you can delete it if you don't want it anymore um what the icons do when you launch them is if i go to music it's going to launch the internet first and then real fast it's going to go to music um that's because they use url schemes which if you know a lot about tech you know what i'm talking about if you don't know a whole bunch about tech uh that's okay you don't really have to know anything about tech to use this um so there is my music when i click on that icon um you can also do websites and stuff so if you want to do a custom icon for your favorite website you can do that um by going back into the app app icons i've actually already made a bunch of them so i'm not going to make another one but you could make it go to this i have a short url website that i use and i made that icon go to that and the short url website and to get to that i would just go to the short url i'm not real sure where it is right now anyway you can change a whole bunch of the different icons um so it's really easy um it's a 99 cent app but it's definitely worth the money uh i'm i really like it so um i definitely think you should check out this app if you haven't already uh you can find it just by searching app icons in the app store um so thanks for watching and remember to follow me on twitter ktjx2 and my blog the tylerjonesblog.com i'll be back with another video soon